It's your boy Bill here, doing a little tasting session for Watney's. Going to run through the tasting notes of their fine pale ale. Upgraded the old three-bed semi too, didn't I? Cheers, Watney's. We asked beer sommelier Annabelle Smith to give a 100% honest review of Watney's pale ale. Here's what she had to say. Cheers. The beer poured a russet brown copper colour exactly the appearance the original pale ales would have had. And we know it's the originals that really matter in this game. Originals, Chaucer. The aroma smacked of pine and spices from the American hops. Who'd have thought the Americans could do anything properly? The Grapes of Raff's about their best book. What are you going to make out of grapes? Booze? Doubt it. <clears throat> I got a glass of really well thought out beer. Traditional toffee and caramel flavours, offset by a lingering bitterness and a long, long palate that didn't disappear the moment the beer was drank. You ain't going nowhere, baby. No, I didn't go, wow, that's the most amazing beer I've ever had. But it was a sunny, sessionable beer. The perfect vehicle for non-beer drinkers to dip their toe into the craft ale market. And the genius thing is, I bet everyone will have heard of Watney's at some point. Not unlike the name Bill Shakespeare. Bet you've heard of me, love. <laughs> ah!